Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. This is very exciting. Tegeler have sent us the cream or the creme, the new version, the RC. What does the RC stand for? We're assuming remote control. This is very exciting. You might ask, why are you so excited? Well, we've already tested the creme, the cream, and we came to the conclusion, just like everybody else, this is probably the most affordable SSL compressor and Poltec style EQ on the market that you can put on your master bus. Well, I suppose anywhere you like. Stereo in, stereo out, sounds phenomenal. It has been reviewed amazingly by so many people. So why is this so much more exciting, you ask? We've already heard it and it's wonderful. Well, it's completely controllable by this, a plugin. Have a watch of this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Real time, fully motorized, not stepped. Now, of course we like stepped, because that's really good when you have analog equipment to recall it. So you might ask, why not stepped? You don't need to now. Now, every single time you open up your session, the plugin will be there with your settings saved, ready to go. That's amazing. As I'm moving the output, I can select my frequency that I want to boost. Ah, let's do a little, uh, I don't know, actually let's stay around about 11K, do some boost here. Let's go to low frequency, take some 60, boost that. Set the threshold, the attack and release time, the ratio I want to work at. So every time I open up a mix, this will remotely control it and recall it beautifully, exactly the same. No more reason for track sheets, sitting there making notes, taking photographs, the plugin has it. This is the technology that they've had on many, many machines and now they finally put it in probably their best product. And Tegela make great products. Everybody I know loves their stuff. But now that it's fully recallable, mwah, this is beautiful. So for those of you that haven't seen it, please check out the other video. There's gonna be a link here so you can go back where we do a comparison with my SSL bus compressor and my beautiful Poltex. And I'll let you make up your own mind. If you go to that video, you can download the multi-tracks. There will be a link here, there'll be a link below. And you can hear for yourself and you can decide for yourself. But for those of you who don't remember, let us just do some listening here. Pull everything back down to zero. All of this remote control stuff is amazing. As you can see, there is side chain low cut here. So if I push both buttons in, I've got up to 200. If I just do the one there, it's 60, and one there, it's 120. I love it. <laughs> both in together again, 200, one only 120, and one only 60. I can take it in and out there. Look at that. Look at that. I can go EQ into compression, or I can go compression into EQ. Here, look at this, full automation. How good is that? That means I can automate my analog gear. Automate my analog gear. So you want a little extra low boost on that breakdown section where the kick is played not very well, and you want a little bit more oomph out of it? Go in there, automate up a couple of dB more, 60 hertz on it. Absolutely superb. You want to open up the end of the song, make it just a little bit brighter so it's a little bit more exciting? Automate your high boost. And you can do all of this control from the plugin, write it in there, written into the analog gear. I know there's a few companies moving into this world, but the, it can't come soon enough. It is a really, really smart way of looking at what we're doing. The fact that we can have high quality analog equipment, but control it digitally. Just really, really wonderful. Michael over at uh, Tigla is a very, very smart guy. Okay, so let's try out the plugin. Look at this, bypass, in, out, in, out, in, out. 60 hertz. So basically what will happen is 60 hertz will pass through, compression will start above that. 120, same thing, and both in 200. The threshold control here, Obviously, how soon the compressor starts working. I love this, look at that. Woohoo! Attack time, release time, ratio. So if I was gonna do 
I usually probably start about three-ish, three and a half, something like that to one. Three to one ratio means it needs to go three dB over the threshold to allow one dB more to go, which I think for something like this is probably pretty perfect. So let's put in the plugin. Slow the attack down. Put the release on auto. Some low boost. Crazy that high-end boost, how smooth it is. I keep wanting to go more and more and more, but I'm hearing it opening up, but it's super smooth. I'm probably completely overdoing it. So sorry if your ears are bleeding, but it's really smooth up there. It's really easy to get carried away because the EQ on this is really smooth, really beautiful. In good Poltec tradition, the passive EQs of Poltex always sound absolutely beautiful and you can get really, really carried away like I did with the high end there. As I kept boosting and boosting and like, oh, I love the sheen it's creating. Hopefully that translates on the wonderful world of YouTube. But the sheen was great, but of course it got too aggressive. And then I started boosting the 60 and going, oh, I love how full it is. However, the things with Poltex are, you gotta be careful. You'll go in the car and the whole speakers will just blow up from the amount of low end. So I'm reducing the boost on the low and the high there, and I'll go in and out of bypass. <laughs> Really fantastic. Now, let's try this track down here. Here is an instrumental. Really feel the low end difference in that. So we're gonna scale it back a little bit. Wait there, before we scale it back a bit, we can save this setting as Gypsy. And now we can change it. Huge. Most of the settings stayed the same, just a little less bass boost because the low end on that was already absolutely massive. And now, of course, I can go in and save settings as, we call it shoot, and we've got that. So here's Gypsy, boom. Look at that. Shoot. I mean, that was the only change we made. 
But we can find something else and see if there's any more drastic moves we can do. So what I have here is our cover of Valerie that we did the other day using uh, Lewitt Mike. I remember this mix. We recorded and mixed this song in one day. And the next day, after it was released, because it went up the next morning, I listened to the mix and went, oh God, the low end. The bass is like booming all over the place. So with that in mind, I'm just going to have the 60 only go through because I want the compression to hit the bass a little bit harder. Let's have a listen. It's interesting, if I take off the 60 sidechain circuit on there, it grabs the bass. The thing about my mix, and for those of you that don't know, you can download those multi-tracks and mix yourself. My mix, it was recorded and mixed in one day, and I think we finalized the mix at, I don't know, 12.30 or in the morning, after starting earlier that day, cutting the whole song. So we can all do it. You can record a song and mix it in a day, which is what we did but the bass is too massive. But I've noticed, I thought my instinct was to let the 60 pass through for the kick, but actually it feels better now just letting the bass grab the compressor. That's working great. So what I did is I went down to 40 hertz and I boosted that a little bit, just a, just a shade, but I allowed all the compression to come in across the whole, the whole mix. That bass is too loud. There's a lot of like 80 just going on. It's just too much 80. But with a little 40 lift down there, it's grabbing the 80, compressing aggressively, but the 40 underneath is allowing the kick to breathe a little bit. So I like what's going on there. So a little bit of a 40 boost, I'm gonna get a bit more aggressive. Eric was just saying to me, try this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut down the session and we're gonna launch it again. We're gonna zero out the compressor here. You know, we can even bypass it like this and change the EQ into compression. Brand new day, brand new session, open recent. Here it is, this is the last one we were just working on. Look at that, look at that. How freaking cool is that? Mikhail Krush, Michael Krush, thank you ever so much. You're a very smart man indeed. You're fulfilling all of what we want to believe about Germans. Really, really super well made, beautiful sounding, completely and utterly recallable. Absolutely love it. Please check out our previous review. There will be a link to it below so you can hear it being shot out against a desk, 4000 compressor, and a pair of really nice, beautiful Poltex. We guessed about $10,000 worth of gear compared with a couple of thousand dollars worth of gear. And now that it has a remote control function and you can see that full recallable ability, I mean, God bless it. Really great work. 
Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Tegela. Please leave any comments and questions below. Check out this compressor. They are an incredible company. You can go and order one for a free trial for 14 days. You can go to their site and they will send it to you. And they have like a 99.9% .9 success rate of the product because it's freaking awesome. Great company, great product. Have absolutely no problem saying that. It's pretty universal though. Any review that you see on their products is going to be screamingly good. And other manufacturers I know love their products too. Just great work. Thank you ever so much. I know I'm waxing very lyrically about this, but I'm super happy. I'm really happy with this, really impressed. And I love new technology like this. This is connected via an ethernet cable, by the way, not a USB, not a Thunderbolt. Ethernet is a little bit more universal and a little easier to maintain. It's been around for a decade or two or three now. There's not a fear that they're suddenly gonna change the support and have a new cable. Oh, Thunderbolt's no longer supported. I think it's a smart way of going. I remember talking to Michael about it and he said that's why they chose the Ethernet because they wanted to make sure that it was something universal that anybody can use. With our Mac here, we've got this little tiny converter and it's just an Ethernet going to a Thunderbolt. It's also got USB. It's made by Sling Studio. There's loads of these you can buy, different manufacturers. Um, it's a great product. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. I really appreciate it. Leave a bunch of comments and questions below. If you want to try one of these out, go to their website, order one. They will deliver it to you. You can try it out. See you all soon. Adios. Au revoir. Au revoir. So long. Farewell.